there you go, yes. So I'm here with Kieran. Uh, Kieran, tell us what brought you here today. I just come to find out about well every religion really and pick, pick people's brains about their religions and that. But I seen I seen you about five minutes ago now doing your prayers. And yes. I, didn't, I wondered if anything was done purposely for a reason mm. or whether it was just because it's that taught that way. I think there's two aspects of it. There is it's been taught like that. Number one, uh, it's from the prof uh, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him has shown that we pray like that but it's also for us to take the most high noble place of a man which is his head um, nose like these parts of the body for the Arabs were if I'm not mistaken were known to be like you know a place of respect and to bow it down in front of God okay, yeah. so it symbolizes our submission to God Almighty okay. so in a nutshell in in our prayer uh, we have pillars of the faith, pillars of the prayer, yeah. which is that if you miss a pillar, your prayer is invalid. Okay. So you have to do it again. So one of the conditions is that I have to stand. Yeah. If I'm not well, I can sit. Okay. If my body is paralyzed, I can pray with my eyes. Okay. Yeah. So there is no reason to miss the prayer. Yeah. So if you saw me, I went into uh, bowing. Yeah. That is a pillar. Okay. Going into prostration is a pillar. If I miss any of those, my prayer is invalid. So if you went from standing to on your knees? You, if, yeah, you, if, if I went to bat, instead of here, I went straight to frustration, it's invalid because I missed the bowing. So it's a protocol that we follow. However, we have something called the wajibat, which are the obligatory things that you need to do in prayer. Okay. So arguments say, if I miss that, it doesn't invalidate my prayer. It's still valid, but I'm sinful. Okay. So I do two prostrations before I do my, you know, you say peace. Like you say, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, Salam, that's how you finish your prayer. You'll have to do two prostration. And there are sunnah actions, the sunnah, which is deeds that you should do, you get extra good deeds. If you don't, you don't get sinful. You don't get sins for it. Okay. So that is the essence of it. But the whole purpose of the salah is to connect yourself and it is the soul food. So we believe that, for example, we it's a hot day, we drink water. Make sure you're hydrated. Yeah. Make sure you eat food. Make sure your body is fit. Make sure you're doing that exercise. You do all of this for the body. The soul also has its rights. Yeah. The mind also has its rights. So we say the soul, the food of the soul is the remembrance of his Lord. So we have where we forget everything and we try to focus and we try to remember God. We praise God. We recite one of the chapters of the Quran. There. So it has uh, to be done in Arabic. It yes. It has to be yes. done in Arabic. It can't be done. So if I was yes. to say, speak to yeah. several of the Muslim brothers so, here today yeah. and and go away and read and then come back and take my shahada I wouldn't be able to do it I'd have to learn the if Arabic you no, no 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 and this is why it's very interesting because our organization which is Salam we have our, one of our projects which is to teach new Muslims how to pray Salah which people that have been helping and donating to us because we're a charity so our sole purpose is what anybody that accepts Islam or is a born Muslim who doesn't know how to pray we give them a guided prayer mat I actually might have one in my car I can give you it so, well, I'm sure. Um, yeah, good yeah. But yeah. So the thing is, we teach. So if you take a shahada now, I can. You can start praying immediately because I have a guided prayer mat that I can give you, and it has everything you need to know, which is one of the beautiful things about uh, our project. So, if that's stopping you, that shouldn't stop you. If you if you believe it's time to be the truth, I mean, there's nothing stopping. I can teach you how to pray salah. The other thing that holds back is, is obviously I'm not I've got a partner, so and obviously okay. it's taught in Islam in Islam that sexual immorality is Okay, it's that not, that's that not we, allowed. We can come to that, but have you looked into Islam before? I've looked into it fairly watching your videos, watching like uh, Okay, so you're familiar with it? Yeah. Okay, so I would say personally that is another stage we can come to of how you can gradually leave that. But that shouldn't stop you from accepting Islam. If you believe Islam is the truth, he saw me praying and it was, is there a specific reason you're doing things? But it seems like, you know, you, 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 you are ready to accept Islam. I would say if you are, the other things come later. A gradual change comes later, you know. So I would say personally, if you want to, we can do it now. And then after that, I have a guided prayer mat in my car. I'm sure I have one underneath the yeah. boot. I can give you it. You can book a one-to-one -one session myself with Sheikh Mohammed or Dawood. Where we will spend the whole day teaching you how to pray, step by step, dedicated. I'll be there for you. What's your name, brother? What's your name? Kieran. 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 Listen, brother Kieran. Yeah. Everything that comes 
you know, uh, you know, in a gradual way. And the issue is that what you are, what you are comparing, what, there is a comparison here. We're talking about the salvation, talking about the hereafter, an eternal salvation in the hereafter. Or we're talking about an eternal punishment if the person didn't accept Islam. Yeah. So that's why we're saying there's, there's two things you have to be careful about. This. We're not saying to you to stay in this, for example, you know, this relation. But we say there is a way for you to come out of it in, a, in, a, in the right way. If your partner, for example, if she's a Christian or if she's a Jew, that a non-believer. Okay, so. if she's a non-believer, that's something else. We may discuss with her, we may speak to her, maybe in the future. But now Allah says in the Quran, save yourself and your family from the fire. So first of all, start for yourself. You should save yourself now. Here. And then what comes, comes after this is something which is, it's a gradual thing which you need to, which, you know, which you need to do that. And that's what we are saying to you. If you believe there's one God, you believe this, my brother. I believe there's something that created everything. Okay. You believe there's something? Yeah, that created everything. So like, would you call him God? Is, there was something is it all powerful? Is something? Would you say it's God? Or would you say it's a power? Would you, do you say yes. that thing is a God or power? It's a, pa a powerful, a powerful. A powerful being. So you saw his God? Is it all powerful? Like, yeah. Is it all knowing, knowing everything? Yeah. Yeah. So it can't be someone who created this universe is ignorant. It has to be all, all knowing. Yeah. 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 And does it, ha does it have a will? Independent will? Meaning to decide to do things, to decide not to do things? Yeah. So that's God. So that's God. So when instead of saying something, we're talking about God now here. Now this God has sent for us when he has created us, he has created us for a purpose, yeah? So our purpose is to submit our will to his will. To believe in him, to follow his guidance, and to follow the prophets and messengers that he has sent to us, one after another. He has sent Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. They came with the message of God, and all of them, they were calling the people to worship this one God and to follow the guidance of the prophets and messengers of God. This is the message of God, and this is what God wants from us. It's a simple and straightforward thing. You now that's why, going back to you, if you do you believe there is one God again? Yeah. Okay. Do you believe that the prophet, that there are prophets of God, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, the last and the final message? Uh, yeah. yeah. Do, do you believe the prophet Muhammad is the final messenger? Yeah, because there would have, surely there would have been another one since. Now, yeah. now what happens now here? Since you believe in Muhammad, peace be upon him, to be a prophet and messenger of God, he is the final one. That means you're Muslim. But you have to take to declare this Islam and to identify yourself as a Muslim. Meaning to know that you belong to Islam and you are a member of 1.8 billion brothers and sisters in Islam. You're a member, one of them. Do you accept this? Yeah, I guess. I guess you have to be fair. So, yeah, yeah, so, so, saying, so you believe in God, you believe yeah. in the Prophet, do you believe the Quran is the final uh, uh, book that was sent? Yeah. You're a Muslim? Yeah. So that's why... You just have to testify. That's why you need to take the, what you call it, the Shahada to testify. There is none way for you except Allah. Allah in Arabic means the one God. And to testify that Muhammad is the message of Allah. As simple as that. And straightforward statement. And as, after that you, are, you belong to Islam. And we are saying to you, Islam, the good thing in Islam is a journey of learning. What's the beauty, the beauty of it is what you know, what you learn, you implement. So you know today this concept, the oneness of God, and the concept of the one God, and the concept that Muhammad وسلم, the Prophet and Messenger of God, as the final messenger, and all other prophets, this concept you implement it. You testify what you know. And then after that, you have to establish the prayer, the five daily prayer. This, this is our, which our, I'll, which I'll teach our duty. You. We're going to teach you yes. how to pray, the path daily prayer, and then gradually things you start to implement. See, what you know. would happen though, because I'm a truck driver. So I, can't I, was, just, I was an Uber driver. So I can't just pull over. Yeah, you, you, you don't have to. There are in, in, the, in Islam as well, if you are a traveler, you could join the salah, you could join him. So during the break time, yeah, when any time you stop on the yeah. way, you just stop. You just go, go to the toilet there, clean yourself, for example, and go to the toilet forever. And wudu, which wudu, I'll teach you. Make wudu and then pray. Always have a prayer mat with you and the Lord. So, so you live in Oxford, yeah? Uh, Birmingham now, yeah. Okay, yeah. Birmingham. That means when you're in London, you're a traveller. Yeah. When you're a traveller, your prayers are shortened to make your life easier. Okay. I will teach you all of that. We'll come to all of that. That, don't worry, shorting that's the next... and joining. Yeah, 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 shorting and joining. So, we will come to all of that. You book a session with me for free. And we will keep, come and teach you. But right now, 
I think you are ready to accept Islam. Yeah. It's just a scary concept, isn't it? That is scary. I wouldn't say that because the thing is, at the end of the day, it's like, what's your favourite food? Steak. Okay, repeat after me. I love steak. I love steak. That's, Shahada is more honourable than this, but I'm just trying to give you an example. You internally love steak, you just told me you love steak. You internally believe in Islam, you want to testify you believe in Islam. So the concept, I know, it's a new beginning, your sins are forgiven, you are recommended to have a shower, and you know, today I would, when I give you the prayer mat... To repeat the shahada yeah, to, repeat the, to repeat the shahada. So I would say, bro, look, you already believe, and there's no reason. And the fact that you saw me praying and it touched you, and you came here, I think, look, just repeat after Sheikh, if you want. There's no compulsion religion. It's just a new beginning, bro. We'll teach you how to pray. I can see your heart is open. You've come here, you want to speak to me. So, and, and as yeah. there are no coincidences, Allah yes. brought you today for a reason. Yeah. Maybe you're looking for something, yeah. and this is the answer for something that you're looking for. All right, my brother? Yeah. You want to accept this? Yeah. Good. So repeat after me, my brother. Yeah? We'll say it in English, then we'll say it in Arabic, all right? Oh, no, this could go really badly. Okay. No, don't worry, right. don't worry, we'll teach you how to do it, yeah? <laughs> yeah? So repeat after me, say it in English and Arabic, okay? Say, I testify. I testify. That. That. There is. There is none, none worthy, worthy of worship, of worship except, except Allah, Allah and I testify, and I testify that, Muhammad that Muhammad is the messenger, is the messenger of Allah. Of Allah. Let's say it in Arabic, yeah? Ashhadu Ashhadu Allah Allah Ilaha Ilaha Illa Illa Allah Allah Wa Wa Ashhadu Ashhadu Anna Anna Muhammadan Muhammadan Rasulu Rasulu Allah Allah That's all my brother Yeah Allah 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 This is the best day for you our brother Girl You are now A Muslim And you belong to Islam And you belong to this 1.8 billion brothers of Islam Sit down Yeah come This is the beauty of it Exactly And today all your sins I think you are newborn baby This is the beauty And what do you want from you You start Learning how to pray, yeah. So what? No, gonna... sorry, no, sorry. Yeah. yeah. And that's what we will be doing. We'll take your contact details, and then uh, either uh, I think this one is there. Are you are you here? This one? Are you in London? This one is there? No, I'm going. So we're leaving tonight. We're leaving. Okay, tonight. that's fine. When you're down next, let me yeah. know. We'll book a session. Me or Sheikh Mohammed will come and teach you. That's one of our programs that we do with our organization. I'm gonna follow me to my car now. I'm gonna give you a guided prayer mat which somebody who donated is watching this because we're a charity, people donate. So somebody donated and they'll be getting the reward of you praying every single time, inshallah. And there's a link in the description if you want to further support our charity, brothers and sisters, to help new Muslims like himself to learn how to pray salah, which we're going to do. So follow me to my car, Sheikh. May Allah bless you. And be in contact with Sheikh as well. Uh, and we will do that. We'll take it from there. Come follow me now. And guys, this is, wallahi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides. He would just walk in. He could have seen any Muslim pray. He happened to see myself. I don't know if my question was on point, but alhamdulillah, at least it had some benefit to you. By the way, uh, by the way it's, yeah. it's similar to your story. Yeah? Awesome. You said to me once that, you know, the things made you to be interested in Islam. Yeah. That you saw brothers praying outside, you know, in the, in the university or something. Okay. And this is what you said to me yes. once. Do you remember that? Can be, yes. I'm trying, I'm trying to record. Dementia or something. Yeah, I might have dementia. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> right. It can be. Well, like, there's a lot you, of factors. You said this made. once to me really? that made you to think about this lab. Wow. So, brothers, well, that's what you yeah, said to me once. No, no, no. Alhamdulillah. I, probably have, yeah. you, I trust you maybe more than mine. <laughs> no, well, like, there's so many factors. So, and, and it's like that Allah, guys, like, the fact that you're walking and then you just see, like, alhamdulillah, wallahi, I'm, I'm happy, you know. And I'm very happy for you, you are our brother in Islam. So, uh, yeah. Ali will take your details, yes. inshallah. And Ali will forward your details exactly. to me. And then if you have any question or something, you ask your wisdom. Inshallah, yeah. Come, follow, follow me, inshallah. Right, no Thank you. Take care, all right, again. Take care, Shah. Shah, all right. Shabi.